Are you a one monitor streamer that doesn't want to use their phone to read chat anymore? Or you got two monitors, but you don't want to awkwardly keep looking over to read chat? Let me show you how to display your Twitch chat over your game while you're live streaming, so that way you can easily read chat with one monitor. This will work with OBS Studio, Streamlabs, literally anything. First thing we need is this free tool, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Right now it's the release 117, but if it's different than yours, that's totally fine. It's going to be the same process. So I'm going to click on it, download installer, transparent Twitch chat, win setup. Up, so I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna start the download. Once it's done downloading, I'm gonna go and open it. It's in my downloads folder, so I'm gonna double click it. And this is really common with a lot of third-party software. Basically, this is called a false positive alert in your antivirus. And I'm guessing it's because you need to give it permission to actually overlay the chat over your screen. So in order to bypass this, we're gonna click on more info, and then we're gonna hit run anyway. Then once you're done with that, this should pop up right here. And like I said earlier, sometimes your antivirus can also flag this falsely so you might need to go in and allow it through there if that's the case and if you're wondering where i got this cool starting soon screen it's actually in my streamer starter pack which is also linked in the description down below but this is our little overlay that we can put our chat in so all we need to do to get started is click the top left of this these three lines and then we're going to see a bunch of different things here the first thing we want to do is click on the settings and this is where we're going to type in our twitch username the cool part is we don't have to actually log in so we don't have to give a password or whatever we can literally pick anyone's twitch username in this case your own but since i'm not streaming right now I'm just gonna pick one of my favorite streamers which is small ant and then you can choose to allow redemptions if you want so you can enable that which if that's the case you're gonna need to connect your twitch account so that way you can accurately track all of the point redemptions so since I'm not using my chat I'm gonna turn it off you can also have the chat fade out old chat lines if you enable this and this will be using seconds so after 120 seconds or two minutes they'll fade out I like to keep them on screen so I'm actually going to disable that you can also open chat filter settings so click on that and you'll be able to see filter by allowed usernames only only, you can only allow mods, which I don't really think you'd want to do. If you want to block bot messages, all you need to do is click on add, and then you can type in the bot's name like Nightbot, so that way you don't have a bunch of spam. But the cool thing is, if you don't block your chat bot's messages, then you can actually see your chat activity, so recent followers, subs, donations, in this chat that we're setting up right now. So I'll show you how to do that at the very end of the video, so just stick around for that. So that's really the important part, so we're going to cancel out. And now we're going to focus on chat sound. If you're one of those streamers that really wants to have like a ding or something go off when you get a message in chat, because it's a ghost town this is where you're going to pick your different sounds that will play when you get a chat message if you want now i find that incredibly annoying so i'm going to hit none and then you can also choose different chat themes with all of these being options so you can feel free to mess with those if you'd like you can also choose different types of chat so cap chat twitch pop out all of these different ones but i'm just going to stick with the default to keep it very easy and simple moving on there's the general tab you don't really need to know a lot here you can change the hot keys for getting rid of the borders which will give you a second as well as the sound output device so that way if you have that ding and chat you can control all of that stuff here you can even change the sound to a custom sound if you want using that as well but if we go to the connections tab you can connect your twitch account like I said if you want to use that redemptions for the community point redemptions to track it that would be fine other than that you don't really need it you can also use widgets which is a great way if you want to read TikTok chat or YouTube chat or kick chat which I have videos for those in the pinned comment down below so you can check that out but this is what you would have to use you'd essentially put your chat box that you use for multi chat or multi streaming or whatever and you'll post that little browser source in here. And so that would be used as an alternative to the actual chat we're setting up for Twitch. So now that we've done all of that fun stuff, you can just go back to chat and then hit save to save all of our settings. And now you can see that it says connecting to chat server, chat connected, join channel, small ant. And so this is small ants chat right now. So let's actually go see to make sure there's not a delay or anything. I know it's a little difficult to read right now. We're just gonna wait for someone to talk in his chat. And there we go, we have someone talking. And honestly, it showed up faster than it did on my actual Twitch chat, which is nuts. So you're actually getting it quicker than you would Twitch chat, which is actually insane. So now that we know that it works, honestly, better than Twitch chat itself, let me show you how to set it up. We're going to one, click and drag the top of this box and put it anywhere on the screen that you wanna have your chat over your game. And once you've done that, you can also go here and adjust the zoom level. So you can zoom in to make it bigger, zoom out to make it smaller. You can change the opacity to make it more see-through or less see-through. So depending on your needs, you can do that. But the important part here is locking in this when we go into our game. So you can either click this to get it started or the hotkey that you need to do is press control alt f9 and it's going to lock it in place and so if you need to unlock it control alt f9 it unlocks and you can move somewhere else if maybe you want to move it somewhere else because it's not as easy to read over your game so i'm going to hit control alt f9 it's going to lock it in and i'm going to open up my game so we got our game right here and if you see our chat over the game that's perfect but if you don't see your chat over your game right now don't panic it's okay what you need to do is go into your in-game settings so whatever game you're playing go into the settings 
settings. And then you're gonna go to the graphics or display mode, whatever you need to do. And there's gonna be an option for either full screen mode, borderless full screen mode, borderless windowed, or just windowed. Now I'm just playing in full screen mode, but some games you'll need to be playing in windowed mode or borderless windowed mode, and you'll have to adjust according to the game itself. Let me try a different game so you know what I mean. Now this game is called Peak, and so we're gonna go into the settings. You can see we have windowed full screen, which is working perfectly. Full screen is also working perfectly, and then windowed is also working perfectly. But honestly, that's kind of rare, at least when I was using this years ago. So if it's not working for you, just go to the windowed mode and cycle through every single option, and there's almost guaranteed to be one option that works for your specific game. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't work instantly. Now, a question you probably have right now is, will chat be able to see my chat that I'm reading in game? And that just depends on how you're sharing your screen with your audience. So in OBS or Streamlabs or whatever you're using, if you're using a display capture, then yes, it's going to show the chat on screen to your chat because it's literally capturing everything on your screen. Now, if you're using a game capture source or a window capture source to share your game, then no, they will not see it. Now, if you want to share your chat, you can use a display capture to share everything in both of them. If you want to have your Twitch chat separately on your screen without using a display capture to combine them, you're going to want to use a browser source. And I show you how to do that in this video on the top right there. And the video on the bottom is going to show you how to use a chat bot, which will show you when you get followers, activity feed, all that stuff in your Twitch chat. To watch either of those videos, my name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.